dear grade nine students, welcome back to the chapter constructions. In this period, we will solve a few more questions related to constructions from exercise 11.2. Let's see the first question. Construct a triangle ABC in which BC is seven centimeters, angle B is 75, AB plus AC is 13 centimeters. Before we construct any given shape, the first work we have to do is just to try a rough shape. So we have to construct a triangle ABC with BC is the base, that's the given measurement, seven centimeters, and angle B is 75 degrees. We have to construct it. AB plus AC. So these two sides together is 13 centimeters. So let us see how does it work. So we have seven centimeters here. And then we name it BC. And as soon as you finish a construction, uh, label the measurement there. 75 degree, which is between 60 and 90. So first let us take 60 degree and I hope you know how to construct 60 degree. We have done it many times, so I'm not repeating. Remember not to change the width of the compass. So we have 60 and 120. In between, we can draw 90 degree. So we have 90 degree now. Now between 90 and 60 is 75. So let us construct 75. So we get an intersecting point. Joining these two points, we will get 75 degree. Next, we have to extend from B to get 13 centimeters because AB plus AC is 13 centimeters. So mark a point exactly 13 centimeters in your notebook. But here I'm approximately taking because there is no space there. Mark a point and extend the line. We join the point where, you may, where we found 13 centimeter with the other end point of the line segment. And then take the perpendicular bisector of this line. To take the bisector, remember to take more than half. Remember not to change the width of the compass, so better lock it. Now for that, we need two points, one on the left side of the line and one on the right side of the line. So that we will get two intersecting points. Or we can just make a semicircle, it's also allowed. We have to repeat the same thing without changing the width of the compass. So we can find the intersecting point now, B. So the, the meeting point will be named as A. So this will be letter A. We got a point, now join A to C. So our triangle ABC is formed now. Next question, construct a triangle ABC in which BC is eight centimeter. Again, it is a triangle ABC. BC is eight centimeters. Angle B is 45, AB minus AC. So this is the longer side. From this, when you take away the third side, you will get a point somewhere here, D, which is 3.5. So which means AB is bigger, we can construct it on the side AB. And let us see how to work. We need BC is eight centimeters.
rename it angle is 45 degree Let us bisect 90 degree. Join the point B to the new intersecting point. So we get the angle 45 degree. So the second part of the question is satisfied. Now AB minus AC. AB is the first side, so it will be on the side AB. If AC was the first side, then it will be uh, in the lower part of the point B. So now on AB minus AC, we have to mark 3.5 centimeters. So cut off at 3.5 centimeters to mark the letter, another letter, let us say D. 3.5 is here. So this is 3.5, which is the letter D. Now, join CD. And take the perpendicular bisector of CD. Perpendicular bisector is taken by two arcs on the left and right of the given line segment. So we draw it on the top. Now we have to draw it at the bottom also. Also from the second point, we do the same thing here at the point. Now we can see this is not intersected, so we can make it intersected by taking it. Extend this line to find a meeting point between the extended line BD and the new line. So we have to extend this line segment to find the new meeting point. So here the point is, and that is the letter A. So here is the letter A. Now once again, join A to C. So this is our triangle ABC. A similar question once again, construct a triangle PQR in which QR is six centimeters. QR is six centimeters. And angle Q is 60 degree, we have to construct it. PR, so P is here, PR minus PQ, which means this is longer. So our, when you subtract the two sides, the extension will be towards this side, let's say PS, which is two centimeter. So we have to connect this side and take the perpendicular bisector between these two points and see where is it touching. So that we will get the required triangle. Let's draw QR is equal to six centimeter and name it QR. Next, we have to construct 60 degree. So let us draw the arc. Without changing the width, we have to take 60 degree here. So we have 60 degree now and join them to, to get 60 degree in the middle. So we have 60 degree here. This time we are given PR is the first letter, which means when you subtract the line will be moving towards down, so the lower part of Q because PR is the first. And on that we have to take two centimeter. This is two centimeter. And let's mark it by another letter which is not mentioned here, let it, let it be A. Now we join A to R and take the perpendicular bisector of 
the line segment AR. To take the perpendicular bisector, you know we have to draw the arc from both the sides. Once again, from here, from the top. It's not intersecting here. We can make it intersecting by, yes, it is intersecting now. So by joining these two lines, we get perpendicular bisector. And then extend so that it will meet on the line extended AQ. So, and name it P. This is then letter P. Now we get the triangle PQR. This is the triangle PQR. P, Q, R. So here the important point to note is that if, you st if the information given to you is with the third side P, R is the first side, then it should be extended down. If the first side given to you is the second side, which is PQ, then we can extend it up as we did in example two. This question is a little bit different from the previous one. We have to construct a triangle X, Y, Z. Angle Y is 30 degree, angle Z is 90 degree, and the perimeter, all the sides together is 11 centimeter. So first what we have to do is, this is the basic shape, Y and Z is given, which is 30 and 90. Of course, it will be straight here. And we are given the perimeter. So whenever we have the perimeter, we have to draw the whole perimeter on a line segment. So let us say AB. That is not a letter used here, so we can use AB here. Because the triangle will be somewhere here in the middle. AB is 11 centimeter. And then we exactly take the given angles. So from here we take 30 degree. And here we take 90 degree. Then we take the angle bisector of 30 and angle bisector of uh, 90 so that they will meet at a point. That will be our X. And then we have to take the perpendicular bisector to find a point where is it touching the triangle. So that finally X, Y, Z will be our triangle with the same angle 30 and 90. That's what we have to do. At first, let's take the perimeter 11 centimeter and name it with any other letter which is not mentioned here, X, Y, Z. So let it be A and B because our X, X Y, Z will be somewhere in the middle. So this is 11 centimeters. And then the angle at the left corner is, let's say Y. So it is 30 degrees. So we have to construct 30 degree and then we bisect it. We get 30 degree. So this is our 30 degree. At first bisect 30 degrees so that we will get the first angle on the left side. So we bisect 30 degree. So we have 15 degree now. And we extend to find the meeting point with the bisector of 90. So let us construct 90 degree now. 90 degree is between 60 and 120. So we have 60, we have 120, so we get the meeting point now, that will be 90 degree. And again we have to bisect 90 degree so that we get the meeting point between 15 and 45. 45 degree. So we have this is 15, 
and 45. This meeting point will be our first letter, which is X, because our triangle is X, Y, Z. Now, when you take the perpendicular bisector of X, A, we will get the meeting point Y, and between X and B, we will get the point Z. So let us take the perpendicular bisector of X, A. And from the second point, so we have the perpendicular bisector now. This meeting point will be after X, but this letter will be Y. So we have find Y. Similarly, we have to find z from the next point which is here it is meeting at the point here so this is the next point which is called z y to x, y to z, x to z. So this is our required triangle. A lot of constructions, but this is the way. Once again, a quick review, what we have to do. First of all, we draw the perimeter. We construct the angle on both the corners according to the given number. Take the bisectors and let them join. That will be the first point. Take the perpendicular bisector of the first line, you will get the second point. Take the perpendicular of the third point, so you will get the third point, so that the middle one will be your required triangle. To the last question of this chapter, construct a right triangle whose base is 12 centimeters. So we have a right triangle, 12 centimeter. Let us name it PQR. It's a right triangle, so this angle will be 90 degree sum of its hypotenuse and the other side. So hypotenuse. This side plus this side together is 18 centimeters. So we have studied how to construct a triangle with two other sides given. First, let's take 12 centimeter. I'm taking half of 12 because I, there is no 18 centimeters in the scale. So I'm taking six centimeters. So please, you can take 12 as given to you. And we can name, it's not given, so we can name it PQ is six centimeter. It's a right triangle, so we need 90 degree. Ninety, ninety. So we found out 90 degree now. And it's given the, the, the second side and the hypotenuse together is 18 centimeters. So I'm gonna take the half of it, which is nine centimeters here letter S. The sum of two sides is 18, which is nine here. Now, so we have to join this point with the end point. Now we have to measure the same angle at the top. It is approximately 35 for me. So we have to take 35 at the base as well. 35 degree is here. Starting from here, passing through this point, we'll get the third point. PQR. So this is our triangle. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next chapter.